Take a look at this plant right here. Now you see it? And now you don't. Where did it go? Did it really disappear? It's right here. How did we do this trick? We just paused the camera in the middle of it and moved the plant away. So why am I showing you this trick? Because it looked like the plant disappeared. However, this plant is made of matter, and scientists know that matter cannot just disappear without a trace. But matter can change, and sometimes that change makes it look like matter can disappear without a trace. Here's an example. First, I'm gonna place this salt onto the scale. And we have 8.9 grams. Now I'm going to place the water onto the scale. And our glass of water weighs 304.6 grams. Now I'm gonna take the salt and place it in the cup of water, and then I'm gonna start stirring. As I stir the water, it seems like the salt is going away. But does it really? No, it didn't. The salt dissolved into the water. It's still there. Look at the mass of the salt water in the glass right now. The new mass equals the mass of the glass of water plus the mass of the salt. This shows that the salt is really in the glass, it's just dissolved in the water. Now if I were to leave this glass of water here for a few days, the water would evaporate and we will find the salt left behind. Did you know that there is a type of farmer called a sea salt farmer? They use evaporation to harvest sea salt. They collect large ponds of salty seawater and let the water evaporate. Then they collect the salt that's left behind. So when you see sea salt at the grocery store or restaurant, now you know where it comes from. Salt dissolved in water is called a solution and it's one example of something called a mixture. Let's look at another example right here. Take a look at these three bowls of food. I have nuts, raisins, and chocolate pieces. They're all made of matter, but when I combine them in a bowl, I have made a mixture. It's called trail mix. Hmm, it's really good. But look into the bowl. Now each piece of the mixture is still there with the same shape, size, weight, and taste it had before. The properties of the pieces don't change just because they are mixed together. So now we know that when you place different materials together and each material keeps its own properties, you've made a mixture. And if I separate these pieces again, they still retain their properties. When a mixture is combined and then separated, it is an example of a reversible change. All parts of the mixture can be recovered. But matter can also go through irreversible change. And just like it sounds, irreversible change is permanent. The changed matter cannot return to its previous condition. Can you think of any examples? Have you ever cooked a marshmallow over a campfire? When a marshmallow is set on fire, matter is changed, and there is no way for it to change back. That's an irreversible change. Now it may look like some of the marshmallow is gone, but if you weighed the ashes, smoke, and the gas that came from the marshmallow, it would all add up to the exact weight of the marshmallow before it was set on fire. Even though the change of the marshmallow was irreversible and permanent, the weight of the matter remained the same. Another example of matter changing is when matter changes state. Now we've already seen water evaporate, but let's look at more changes of state starting with this ice cube right here. Right now, it's a solid, solid water. If you leave it out in a warm room, it will turn into a liquid, liquid water. At this point, you can refreeze the water to return it to a solid piece of ice, or if you leave the water out long enough or heat it up, it will evaporate. In other words, the liquid water will change into water vapor, a gas. Water vapor can also change back to liquid water when it is cooled. It's important to remember that the solid ice weighs the same as the liquid water, which weighs the same as the gas water vapor. So the next time you go to a magic show and it looks like something has disappeared, enjoy the show. But ask yourself where it went. Remember that matter can be changed or moved when it comes to most magic tricks, but it cannot be destroyed.